This is question number one. We're asked to find, in the first part, the integral of 4 minus 3x to the power of 7 with respect to x, and in the second part, the integral of 4 minus 3x to the power of minus 1 with respect to x. The question carries five marks. With the first one, we can use inspection, or, if you like, reverse the chain rule. So I'm going to write now that the integral of the quantity 4 minus 3x to the power of 7 with respect to x will be equal to. We raise by a power, divide by the new power, and then divide through by the derivative of the inside function. So we're going to have now 4 minus 3x. We raise by a power. We divide by the new power, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over 8. Then we divide through by the derivative of the inside function, which is going to give us now the derivative of 4 minus 3x is minus 3. This is the same as multiplying by 1 over 3. I'm now going to add a constant of integration and just tidy this up. So we'll have minus 1 over 24, the quantity 4 minus 3x to the power of 8 plus our constant of integration. So that's the first one done. The next one, I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to write this now as the integral of 1 over the quantity 4 minus 3x, and we're integrating with respect to x. This is going to give us a log function, so we can say that this is the natural log of the modulus of the inside function, which is 4 minus 3x. We need to divide through by the derivative of the inside function, which is going to be minus 3. That's the same as multiplying by 1 over minus 3 and then adding a constant of integration. So just tidying this up, we'll have minus 1 third, the natural log of the modulus of 4 minus 3x plus our constant of integration. So that's the second part done and there are five marks in total for question one.